good morning children welcome back to our english class in today's class we are going to learn a lesson named painting the breeze it is written by subhadra sen gupta okay she was born in 1952 and she writes historical stories and uh, historical and travel fiction stories for children and adults she is one of the founder members of bukaru the first children's literature festival held in india okay and she wrote many famous books like let's go time traveling and the secret diary of pearl's worst cook okay that's about the other and let us see the lesson okay children uh what defines a work of art what role does imagination play in changing an everyday object into a piece of art okay through a story we are going to learn how a little girl created art out of simple objects with her imagination okay yeah let us see yeah parvati hummed as she worked it was the first time in days that she had felt like singing for 9 year old parvati and her older brother lakshman the last few days had not been easy their father lay ill his body was burning with fever and even the herbs their mother had given him had not helped the money had finished first soon there was little rice and dal left in the kitchen so here we are seeing one 9 year old girl humming as she was working okay but it was not the case before this day till yesterday what happened they were uh, children of a potter uh, and she had a brother named lakshman elder brother and they used to live along with their family okay and their father lay ill he had fever and no medicines worked and they are out of money and groceries in their house let us see what happened unless they did something they would have nothing to eat after all their father was just a porter and not a rich man so uh, here they said that their father was a porter and they were not a rich man he was not a rich man so what did we understand now the situation came like this that they should work without anything or without working they are not going to survive so what happened afterwards let us see the only answer to the problem was for lakshman to make and sell the earthen pots and pans he had been working with his father since he was a child but he had never worked alone before their mother said she would help them with the potter's wheel and firing the kiln to bake the pots so here we are seeing that their mother approached these two children she called lakshman and told her told him to make the earthen pots and sell them in order to get some money and she said that she is going to help him in preparation of the pots and in firing them so after preparing the earthen pots they will keep those parts pots in the oven like things uh, for, uh, not uh, like a furnace small ones kin means uh, k k i l n kin means a, f- a furnace like thing okay she told lakshman that she would help him okay 
Lakshman and Parvati had worked out of the, walked out of the gates of their city, Pataliputra, at dawn and headed for the river bank. So, what did what did these two children do? Uh, after getting up early in the morning, they started walking out of the gates of the city Pataliputra. So. They were li living near the city of Pataliputra and they started uh, walking out of the gates near the river bank. Okay, the oil lamps placed in the niches of the tall wooden gates were dying and the watchmen were dozing over their spears. Okay, so that means uh, till uh, all the remaining men and women in that city, all the people, villagers, they were still in a sleep. Okay, they were dozing. Next. So, early in the morning, they started to walk near the river bank. Walking to the banks of the Ganga, they had collected the soft brown river clay and carried it back in their baskets. So here, what did we understand? Because Lakshman was aware of uh, the area where he can get soft brown river clay because he used to assist his father while the while he was preparing the Pots. So, in the preparation of the pots, Lakshman used to assist his father. So, he had knowledge of all these things. But only thing was, he did not have experience of making the pottery on his, uh, alone. Okay? Okay, next see. See, let us see what happened afterwards. Then nervously they had shaped them into water pots and cooking bowls, lamps, plates and vases. So they prepared them in several shapes. Many broke. Some were out of shape. A few cracked when fired in kin. But enough were left to sell. So what happened while they were preparing? Some of them were broken and some of them were cracked when firing them. In the furnace and but still they could uh, get enough of them to sell so yesterday they had bought rice dal and vegetables with their own earnings so what did they do they sold the pottery and with the amount they got they bought the rice and dal and vegetables for the family yeah. Today their father was free of the fever and there was a delicious aroma of food wafting out of the kitchen. So Parvati sang as she worked. So now, till now we were in flashback. The scene, first the scene was a girl, a nine year old girl Parvati was humming while she was working. We don't know what happened before uh, that, before her singing, behind her singing, this story was there. Till yesterday, this happened and this is the scene of today that she is singing while doing her work. Till yesterday, this happened. Today, we came into today now. Okay? She was singing because... Her father got well and some delicious aroma was, she is enjoying the aroma of food which is coming out of the wafting means moving gently through the air. Okay, the aroma. So Parvati sang as she worked. That is why she was singing, sitting on the edge of the country yard near the lane that went past their little thatched herd. So, 
she sat just near the lane outside the country at okay past the little thatched hut thatched hut means a hut with the roof of with a roof covered with straw and bamboo sticks okay small hut next let us see the next paragraph nobody had asked her to paint the pots but she knew that the painted pots sold better you could even ask for a few more copper panna for them and people would pay so here we can see that the little girl even though she was a 9 year old girl she was thinking like a business woman she was brought up in a family of business yes or no pottery his father uh, her father was a potter and she know she knew how to sell the things and how can we get good amount of money with smart work okay hard work and smart work she had an idea that if we paint on this simple pottery we can get more money for the same pot okay here yeah. all she had were colors black and white which she had made herself she had collected the soot from the lamps in the house and added oil to create black color so she collected soot from the oil lamps and added oil to that to create black color and she had ground some pieces of lime and mixed it with water and made white color the two small earthen bowls with the colors sat before her and she dipped her brushes in them the brushes were twists of cotton and the and with these she drew her dreams on the water pots and vases so she prepared the brush using a cotton using cotton and a stick okay yeah broom stick and she started painting the water pots with the colors she prepared on her own okay let us see the next paragraph everyone drew squares triangles straight and wavy lines parvati dipped the cotton into the white and thought i don't want to draw just lines so so she doesn't want to follow the trend she wanted to create a trend of her own so she doesn't want to follow the remaining members who used to draw squares triangles or straight lines or wavy lines she just wanted to do something different okay let us see what she wanted to do she looked up at the sky and the clouds cotton wool white after the rains and she drew a row of them around the pot so when she looked up in the sky she uh, she saw the clouds like cotton wool and white after the rains after the rains if we observe the sky the sky will be with white color clouds so she thought of painting the clouds on the pot curving and floating around like the smiles of the sky so they are looking as if the sky is smiling okay pulling a plate closure parvati was startled by a red and black butterfly as it flew across her face and then fluttered down to perch on the yellow pumpkin flower on the country yard hedge so she was surprised to see one red and black butterfly as it was across her face and settled on the a uh, yellow pumpkin flower on their country yard hedge okay hedge means a row of bushes and perch means sitting on the edge okay so the butterflies sat on the edge of an yellow pumpkin flower and which was on the hedge country yard hedge okay that means which was on the near the bushes and parvati drew the tight uh, tilted curved wings of the butterfly like a border around the plate so she got an idea 
of painting the um, wings of the butterfly as a border for her plate okay let us see what happened afterwards the clatter of horses hooves the clang of cow bells and the creak of bullock cart's wheels made her look up so suddenly she heard the heavy noise of horses hooves okay and the ringing of cow bells and the uh, squeak of the bullock cart's wheels rough sound of the wheels of bullock cart and which made her look up so after hearing these noisy uh, things she has uh, she looked up and she was eager to see what was happening okay down the dusty lane a bullock cart came swaying okay what made her sit up and watch was the rich cloth covering the cart the bright curtains and the two horsemen riding before it and two behind it so if we see any bullock cart we will not be surprised and we will not be interested to find who was there in that cart but what made parvati watch that cart was uh, it was uh, followed by horsemen riding before and after okay two horsemen were riding before the cart and two were riding behind it and the cloths which were covering the cart were very rich okay so that's why she wanted to see who was there in the bullock cart a noble lady i am sure thought parvati so she imagined or she understood that some noble lady must be inside the cart okay she had seen a few such carts drive by on the road side of pataliputra but she had never seen a cart with four horsemen before so she has seen several carts before also but she had never seen a cart which was uh, escorted by horsemen okay by then lakshman had come to stand beside her so uh, she was thinking and uh, watching that cart by the time her brother also came and watching both of them were, were watching look at the horseman he climbed with wide admiring eyes so they were surprised to see all these horsemen and the rich bullock cart next the horsemen were were magni or a magnificent sight their short spears glittered in the sky as yes, in the sky sorry sun the saddle cloths on the horses were of colorful cotton so these two children were surprising they were admired by looking at these horsemen okay the saddle cloths on the horses were of colorful cotton so the seats which were on the horses were also uh, colorful made by made by colorful cotton across their chests over the short sleeved tunics so they were the horse were also decorated colorfully okay for the uh, okay i'll read the sentence one more time across their chest over the short sleeve tunics were the cross straps to carry the quiver of arrows the broad leather belt was for the sword and their head bands were tied across their forehead with jaunty brows so these horsemen were also dressed up in colorful dress and with jaunty bows and uh, 
they had the quavers behind them next soldiers lakshman guessed these suddenly then suddenly he ran back to the house calling parvati come here so he went back to his house and called parvati also they understood that these horsemen must be the soldiers okay parvati reluctant to miss the spectacle said what so here parvati was amazed seeing at that costly and rich cart and she was surprising she was she does did not want to move from there she wanted to see who was there in the cart help me again coming to the paragraph help me carry some of the pots outside so lakshman went inside the house to carry the pots out of the house he asked his sisters help next working quickly they laid a row of pottery by the side of the lane and waited expectantly for the cavalcade to draw closer when the bullock cart was within hearing distance lakshman began to shout at the top of his voice pottery o oh noble lady come and see our pottery so these children understood that they can sell their pottery to the noble lady and can get good amount of money if they were able to sell them okay and they started shouting they took a good amount of pottery outside the house and they were standing beside the wall and they waited uh, till that uh, cavalcade cavalcade means uh, um like a procession okay of the horseman and the rich lady they waited up to up to they come to uh, they come nearer to them and they started shouting pottery o noble lady come and see our pottery so they started shouting at the top of their voices lakshman shouted okay then parvati joined in vases incense incense sold uh, sorry wait incense holders lamps the best pottery in pataliputra o noble lady so parvati joined with lakshman shouting vases incense holders lamps incense holders means uh, agarbatti stands okay small holes will be put to the uh, holder lamps and the best pottery in pataliputra o oh, noble lady saying that they were shouting holding up the pots dancing with excitement they made a huge noise din means noise okay yeah suddenly one of the horsemen rode up to them lowered an angry uh, sorry lowered an angry mustached face and glared quiet you impert- impertinent fools don't you know who is there in the cart so he wanted to make them silent so he was angry and he ordered them not to shout he scolded them not to shout okay he called them impertinent impertinent means mannerless fools okay no said lakshman and how do you know the noble lady doesn't want to buy our pots so lakshman was very confident he said confidently no we are not fools how can you say that the noble lady is not interested to buy our pots how can you decide that he said okay next quiet ground the soldier you move back you move back now or i will let my horse walk all over your pots and smash them to bits so now he was blackmailing uh, he was uh, uh, threatening them in fact okay if you don't move back he is going to make his 
cars walk over all over the pots and smash them into bits but don't you dare parvati stepped forward angrily it took me all the day to paint them so here comes for parvati with lot of courage she was ordering the soldier don't you dare do that maybe you are a soldier but you know how much time it has taken me to paint the uh, pottery you don't you dare don't you touch don't you dare to touch them okay she was also a courageous girl before the soldier could show them away or push them away a curtain was twitched aside and a quiet voice said from the inside the cart go back soldier i want to talk to these children let them come here so uh, the soldier was about to pull them away but what happened suddenly the curtain was twitched that mean pulled out, pulled aside and a quiet white voice said from inside the cart so the lady who sat inside the cart spoke to the soldier to move back okay she wanted to talk to these children and she called them nearer to her okay children i'll stop the lesson here till now learn the meanings which are new underline them and learn the meanings here we can see the difficult words or new words highlighted in black color okay uh, those words were in bold so you can learn these uh, meanings i'll continue with the lesson in the next video okay so read the lesson up to here once okay i'll continue with the lesson in the next video till then bye children